AR glasses with a nice form factor. Let's take a look at the Rocket Vision 2 headset. It's morning star news. So as per usual, take a look at the description for links to uh, the company website. Uh, they have a video up, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, some information about the headset um, beyond what we're gonna share with you here today. Um, but uh, the Rokid Vision 2 um, AR headset um, looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna jump right into it and say, you know, they're able to achieve this form factor mainly because it's a tethered solution. So, um, you know, phone, uh, tablet, um, PC, um, you have to be tethered to the device because that's where all the computing power comes on. Um, the glasses have speakers, they have a camera, um, and obviously the displays. Um, but yeah, the bulk of the processing comes from your, um, as pictured here, they have a phone, um, but also, yeah, iPad or your, your Windows PC. Um, I think we're okay with this. Um, ideally, um, we'd have some kind of wireless connection, but we also know that the, the throughput of, um, you know, trying to transfer that over the air um, can be kind of uh, a, an issue. Um, so the tethered solution seems like an okay um, deal here, um, at least for these initial offerings. So when these um, release and uh, there is no release date, there's no price. Um, so, you know, who knows when these are coming out or at what price point. Hopefully, you know, it, it's always the thing. Uh, is this going to be accessible to um, a wide audience or is these going to be too expensive or not powerful enough for any kind of adoption? Because I, I feel like um, adoption is important. Um, you know, for the technology to, um, to catch on. But also, you know, it, it has to catch on for people to want to develop for these sorts of things, you know? You need to get the headsets in the hands of the people um, so that, you know, developers will come to the platform. It's also, I guess it's kind of a catch-22, right? Um, you need the glasses um, to get in the hands of the people so people can develop for it. But, um, you know, there's no killer app for AR, I feel like, right now. Um, I'm not sure we've really figured out what what that is. Um, but I think um, we're going to say Apple here. But I think Apple might have an idea um, of what what these te this technology can do. And um, so, yeah, th there's no killer app. Um, so there's no one, you know, coming looking for AR glasses and because there's not a lot of people with AR glasses um, there's not a lot of people um, wanting to develop for it so yeah a kind of a catch-22 um, but uh, these um, Rokid Vision 2 arrive with um, a virtual city um, app um, a cinema app um, and I think this right here is what they call a fantasy world um, app. It's really bright and kind of, um, <laughs> I don't know, garish um, is the right word. Um, but it, 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 it's an interesting um, uh, showcase of what um, maybe these things will be able to do. So again, uh, take a look at the links in the description. Um, they go into a little bit of um, about the technology behind these. And I think that's something we'd like to explore on um, the different technologies for these different headsets. Um, but waveguides and bird baths are basically the two main AR technologies. The bird baths use mirrors and the waveguides um, use um, actual displays, um, the, the three colors, RGB. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting, um, the technology behind these things. Um, definitely tech, check out the article. Um, the article says, um, they don't go into much depth. Um, and again, maybe we'll go into more depth here as we research it. Um, but the, it's a good primer on, um, those two technologies, I believe. So yeah, check out the Rokid Vision 2, um, AR glasses. Again, no price or release date yet, but, um, you know, hopefully with more people coming into the space, um, the AR augmented reality space, um, we'll see more um, competition and technology evolve. And eventually we'll get to something where, um, you know, consumers will have uh, more, um, you know, incentive uh, to, I guess, invest in these types of technologies, basically. And uh, that's all we've got for you today. Um, uh, take care.